Hello everybody, this is Brian from the Delta College Planetarium. I wanted to make a short video about a comet visible in the sky right now. Comet C2020 F3 Neowise is a newly discovered comet that has brightened substantially beyond what was predicted. Neowise has become bright enough to be visible to the naked eye, but is better seen through binoculars or a small telescope. Neowise had been visible in the early morning sky, around 4 a.m., but the comet has now moved far enough away from the sun that it is becoming visible in the early evening sky after sunset. This picture of the comet is from the morning of July 12, and can give you an idea of what to expect from Neowise. Comet Neowise is the vertical slash just below the dark cloud near the center of the frame. This picture is a more detailed view of the comet through a 55mm camera lens, and combining many exposures. The dense, sharp part to the bottom is the comet's coma, the cloud of gas and dust that contains the nucleus of the comet. The nucleus is the actual physical object that makes up the comet, and is composed of rocky and icy materials. The ices heat up and vaporize near the sun, and out gas from the comet forming the coma seen in this picture. These particles then fall behind in the comet's orbit, creating the whitish comet dust tail seen here. Also in this picture, there is a second comet tail. This one is blue, very faint, and pointed up. This is the comet's ion tail. These are electrically charged particles being blown directly away from the sun. A comet's dust tail and ion tail may be pointed in different directions. Neowise is now far enough along in its orbit to see in the early evening sky. This simulation uses parameters borrowed from Halley's Comet, so while the positioning is accurate, don't use this as an expectation of how Neowise will appear in the sky. Starting on the evening of July 12, the comet was visible in binoculars in the dusk light. To spot the comet, you want to look north of where the sun sets on the horizon. I found that using averted vision, that is not looking directly at it, helped my eyes pick the comet out from the sky. If you're using binoculars, you can sweep that area of the sky to find it, but only do this after the sun is totally below the horizon so you don't accidentally burn your eyes out. Over the next few days, Neowise will climb higher in the evening sky. It makes its closest approach to Earth on July 22nd, and will be about 30 degrees above the horizon after sunset that evening. At its closest point, Neowise will be about 100 million kilometers from Earth, or about two-thirds of the distance from Earth to the Sun. Neowise will dim as it moves further from the Sun, but we hope it will remain visible for a couple of weeks. It will take 6,800 years before Comet Neowise visits the inner solar system again. Comets visible by the naked eye are pretty rare. If the weather is clear where you are, go out and try to see Comet Neowise in the evening sky. This is Brian from the Delta College Planetarium wishing you clear skies.